So uh, welcome. Um, my name is Tobias Stepan. Um, I'm the director uh, of TeamWire, which is basically a secure WhatsApp for enterprises. And uh, what we do with TeamWire is basically um, solving the WhatsApp problem um, that many enterprises and uh, companies in the public sector currently have. Um, maybe as a short introduction, why this is this such a big problem at the moment um, in this enterprise space is what we call the messaging error. Um, so currently what's happening is um, all of you basically have mobile devices and your communication is primarily happening via your mobile device. And until now, basically all your employees were using email. And uh, all of you know, you get hundreds of emails per day and as a real-time communication medium, the email is not the right tool anymore. What happens in most enterprises is that everybody uses WhatsApp nowadays or other consumer messaging apps, which are well very, very popular in the consumer space. Um, the uh, users know that when they write an email, it takes a long, like half a day or longer till they get a response. And they know at the same time when they write a WhatsApp message, they get instant feedback normally. And then they start you know, um, setting up group chats for their projects, for their teams, for their units. And suddenly, the enterprise has got a shadow IT as part of their organization, which normally most of the enterprise are very worried about, of course, because the data protection is not uh, complied with. Uh, it doesn't support or comply with the GDPR that's coming next year in May. And basically, all the data is in some cloud in the United States, and probably all the metadata and all the um, communication of the enterprise is somehow analyzed by WhatsApp. And um, what happens in, in, then in the enterprises at the same one, on the one hand, they understand that they need a more secure solution and basically to comply with all the data protections, the security requirements that the organization has. At the same time, um, the enterprises understand that the communication is much more efficient and much more effective with a fast messaging solution like WhatsApp. And basically, there's a transition going on at the moment away from email towards messaging for the internal communication of businesses. That's what's happening across all businesses, across all industries, actually across all countries currently. And what the enterprises require is basically a solution that fulfills all the data protection and, and security, um, but at the end of the day is secure. Um, that's what's happening with or without TeamWire. What we do is basically we're just providing a secure messaging solution to basically solve the WhatsApp problem for businesses. So it's a, um, basically an app that comes with a user interface that's very, very similar to WhatsApp. Um, you can do one-to-one -one chats, you can do group chats, you can do all kind of digital content sharing, like photos, videos, locations, files, and documents. Uh, you, can, you have read receipts even for group chats and things like that. Basically everything that the users are familiar with because this is what the users expect basically in order to improve the productivity in the enterprise. Um, an important thing is that TeamWire is not only available on mobile devices, but uh, it's also available for tablets. You can use it on the desktop, so it's available for iOS, for Android, for Windows Phone, for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux on the desktop, and it's one account that can be used cross-platform with persistent chats. You can start on the mobile device, you can switch to your desktop later and seamlessly continue the communication. Now, um, the important thing is that TeamWire does not only basically fulfill the productivity requirements, which is similar user experience to WhatsApp, but it fulfills all the security and data protection requirements that you as an organization have. So we are a German vendor, and as most of you might know, in Germany, data protection is pretty, pretty high from the standard. So basically, the solution comes with you know, a privacy by design concept. We, as of today, already fulfill all requirements of the GDPR. And we do strong encryption, not only the transport layer, we encrypt, encrypt the metadata layer, we encrypt the messages on the sender's device and only decrypt on the recipient's device. We decrypt everything that's stored on the devices. We decrypt everything that's stored on the backend or in the cloud. So basically that you are able to protect against the various attack vendors. I will go into some more details in a bit. Um, also, you can host it in a cloud. You can host it in a private cloud as a managed service, or you can even install it on premise. So you're in full control where your server is, who's got access to your server, and all these kind of things. 
Um, and um, there is a very, let's say, comprehensive administration um, piece in this. Um, you've got, um, of course, uh, an administrator portal where you can manage all your users. You can um, synchronize it to your LDAP and your Active Directory. You've got a multi-tenant solution um, that's not only multi-tenant capable, but also multi-domain capable. So you get user-based directories um, that are then able to be um, managed individually. Um, so you're in full control, who's got access to your tenant data and all these kind of things. Um, there is a... Um, EMM support, like before we heard in the speech before, Mobile Iron, so we support MDM solutions like Mobile Iron and AirWatch. So all the data is secured in the container on the mobile device. Um, and not only that, you can also automate the rollouts on mobile devices, so you get basically um, yeah, minima, minimum support. And a um, very, very important aspect is there is an API for chatbots and integrations into your IT ecosystem, because what most um, people at the moment not yet fully understand is Everybody tries to solve the WhatsApp problem, which is a very, very important problem. But in the second step in the next couple of years, you will see that the messaging app will be fully integrated in your whole IT ecosystem of your enterprise in order to automate processes, workflows, and things like that, um, in order to, um, let's say, um, drive the whole digitalization efforts of your company forward. This is something that will be very, very prominent in the next couple of years. Um, when you look at the, at the typical scenarios when, when customer or when enterprises look for, let's say, a, a secure messaging solution, you normally encounter these, these four scenarios. So the one is they have understood that they have a large shadow IT with, as what's, with WhatsApp. Um, they have understood that messaging is kind of the future of communication for enterprise and look for a dedicated solution. I think most of the enterprises that approach us, 60, 70% have got this scenario. They want a similar WhatsApp experience that is secure and ensures the data protection that they have. Um, the other scenario is that, well, I mean, often uh, enterprises use MDM solutions like Mobile Iron or AirWatch and the like, and then in a second step think about, you know, how does a mobile office look like? Yeah? And they think about um, improving, let's say, um, productivity in teams with group chats, with channels that basically can then simplify and accelerate the internal communication. Often enterprises have got um, mobile workforces. The mobile workforces become larger and larger. I mean, most of you realize that you're, you're, you're traveling more, you're more on the road, you've got salespeople, you've got customer service people, you've sometimes got people in factories, in shops that are, let's say, always on their mobile phones. That's the only way to communicate. For them, email is not the adequate tool. And with, for them, something like a messaging solution is something that really helps to improve the productivity. And then you have, of course, the, the, last, the last piece, which is basically securing the communication, the GDPR. On the one hand, with the GDPR coming, there are very, very high penalties, as most of you know. Um, and then the enterprises say, well, we cannot really tolerate WhatsApp anymore as, as, as with these high penalties facing us. And the second thing is that, well, of course, you've got more and more hacking attacks and things like that more and more security leaks um, as part of your infrastructure. So basically, and then enterprises look for a secure messaging solution that protects them against these kind of scenarios. Um, if you want to have got some, some ideas what kind of companies were in these situations in the past and who are now, let's say, moving uh, towards uh, or have moved towards a secure messaging solution, so for example, Sparkassen, this is the largest German banking group. They have about 220,000 employees in Germany. They use TeamWire as an internal WhatsApp alternative because they had a huge WhatsApp problem. Barmer is the largest German health insurance. Uh, the Ministry of Work in Germany, they use TeamWire for all the ministers traveling on the road. As uh, a police in Germany, huge WhatsApp problem because they have only the digital radio and no ways to share photos and videos. What were they using in the past? WhatsApp. Yeah? To, you know, for, against terror attacks and these kind of things. Now they're using TeamWire. Raphael Industries is an arms manufacturer. And the R is a German state television where they basically uh, use it as a secure um, way for the news journalists and things like that. Um, Amprion is an M M a transmission system operator. And then there is from the German military, the university. We also, these are some of the, uh, who give you an idea. Of course, two things that all these have in common. They more or less all had some kind of WhatsApp problem. Um, they all chose then a secure messaging app, TeamWire, as basically as a secure alternative. And what you can see with most of them, they all have probably, well, at least in Germany, the highest security and data protection requirements that you can get. Um, 
I would say these are the, 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 the kind of customers that are more interest, are most interested in the solution. However, now in the last six to 12 months, what we see in Germany, we get supermarket chains, yeah? we get retail stores and things like that who also look for a secure alternative because they have the same what's the problem basically in their, in their, um, in their organization. Um, these are some productivity benefits that these customers get. I mean, most of these things will be familiar for most of you because you know WhatsApp. And um, I just want to highlight two things. Less meetings, what you can see with all these group chats and channels that, you, that are available in a messaging app like TeamWire, you, you basically have less requirements for meetings in, peer, in person. So for all the little things, especially in larger organizations where you have sometimes senseless meetings, often these things are discussed in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in the messaging solution, in a group chat, and there's no requirement to do a meeting anymore. The other thing is basically, um, especially for your younger employees, I mean, they don't own email. I mean, for, for the employees in their 20s and 30s, I mean, it's like uh, using email is like something like, like an old economy. And they want innovative and, yeah, let's say, uh, tools that are, let's say, um, if, yeah, that they're also that they use in their private time. And this is actually something that only, not only increases the employee satisfaction, but also helps to actually attract talents to companies. Um, when you, when you look at the, the, the um, data protection and security things um, that, that we are comp to comply with, so basically, I mean, from a GDPR perspective, we store data only in Europe. Yeah, there's nothing uh, stored outside in Europe. At, at the moment, it's actually stored completely in Germany. Um, you can have it as a cloud or as well as an on-premise solution, wherever you want to deploy it. Um, the whole thing is based on strong German and strong European data protection. So basically all legislations from, from a data protection and security perspective are supported with a solution. So we, we have things like we pseudomize user data. Actually, we don't use user data at all if you don't need it to provide the services to a customer. Yeah? So the only thing that are there is a name and an email address, basically, that are needed for administrative reasons. And everything else, and even these things are sort encrypted, but everything else is not used. It's converted in, in SHA 256 bit algorithms and things like that. So for us, in order not to have the data. Um, also, there, of course, we don't store address books. We don't do metadata analysis. Um, actually, there are options to delete data. You have a customer in full control what's stored in the cloud or on the servers. You can say everything that's older than two months should be deleted automatically. All these things are possible. You can even define um, for the clients, I mean for the apps, if you don't want that uh, the data longer than, is stored longer than a week, this could be automatically deleted from the devices of your employees. So you're in full control of what's happening there. Um, of course, there is this strong encryption piece, which I mentioned before already. The API is completely protected. So you can control who's got access to this API. You can even control who um, is allowed to use these chatbots and integrations. So which employees of yours are able to access these integrations. So it's not like with other tools where it's an open API and the users can just say, yeah, I want now this, whatever, social media integration, things like that. This is under complete control of the IT administration. And there is an access management. You can see exactly who is basically uh, using the solution, which devices are registered by a user. Um, you can, um, of course, block devices if they get lost or stolen. Yeah, single devices. You don't need to block the whole account. Um, you can remote wipe the devices. If a device gets stolen or, or lost, they can be wiped via the administrator portal. So there are a lot of things in place to prevent, prevent data loss. Um, of course, there are continuous monitoring, there are cluster setups. So for, let's say, larger organizations, there are high availability cluster setups um, that, um, yeah, for example, like for the police or the banks, who need basically 100% availability, more or less. Um, and of course, we do quite a lot of security checks and certifications because, as we all know, security is something, well, what you have today is secure, but might be, let's say, in three to six months, might be outdated. Yeah, and this is something which you have to comp always to basically to innovate and to improve. Um, there is, um, as I mentioned, an administrator portal for basically the whole authorization and the service monitoring of, of your organization. I mean, of course, it tells you as well things like daily active users, monthly active users, what messages are sent, and things like that. But the more important thing is you can, for example, connect it to your LDAP or Active Directory to synchronize and automate the whole user management. Um, you have a multi-tenancy thing, which is sometimes for large organizations important to yeah, um, manage the individual tenants. Um, of course, it's possible that they communicate um, together, 
but if not, they could be completely isolated from a commu with communication settings and things like that. Um, there are um, um, communication policies where you can define who is allowed to communicate with whom. Um, there are policies that allow you to completely manage the user, the data the user is allowed to access and to use. So for example, if you would say, okay, the, the users should not be allowed to do file sharing, yeah, or should not be allowed to um, share data outside the container of the app with other applications, this could be deactivated. Um, you could, um, of course, disable all these copy and paste things and things like that, but these are no nowadays standards with MDM things. Um, what's much more important is normally things like you, you are able to um, assign communication partners. So you could basically say a user is only allowed to communicate with certain groups. Um, you could also define if a user is allowed to communicate with external people. Um, these things are under, under full control of the, of the IT admin of an organization. Um, there are things like archiving and audit logs. I mean, uh, normally enterprises need to document all the communication that they have done with the tool um, as, par as part of the, the, the revision or the audit proof things that they need to do. And there's basically an archive that allows you to do these things. Of course, there are audit logs where you can see exactly who's um, basically accessed certain, um, access to the solution, when users were basically um, uh, configured, and when the access was blocked, what, what administrators did in the call, so everything that you need to do there. Um, as I mentioned before, we support MDM solutions like Mobile Iron or AirWatch. Actually, we support all solutions that are part of this app config community. Um, and this is important, I would say, mainly for two reasons. On the one hand, um, of course, from a security perspective, um, you can um, uh, yeah, basically um, secure all the data in the, in the container of the application. Um, you can um, ensure that it's securely tunneled to your infrastructure via a VPN tunnel. Uh, you can, of course, set passcodes. Uh, you can um, do these standard things like uh, remote wiping and blocking the access of devices. Um, but as well, you can send data retention policies that basically then also allow you to remo remotely, uh, sorry, that automatically delete the content on the devices. Um, there are things that, um, this, that's, that's all the security stuff. From an productivity stuff, which is important, or administration stuff, which is important, um, you can automatically roll out the solution with an MDM solution. So basically, if a user opens the app the first time, he just clicks on the app icon, and the whole registration is done completely automatically, and the user just starts using the app. And this, of course, um, lowers the support efforts that the IT and the security departments have. Um, at the same time, it accelerates all the rollouts that, that you want to do as an enterprise because, um, well, as well, the application is pushed by the enterprise stores and to the devices and things like that. So basically, all you need to you need there. Um, this is something that I just want to show you because I believe that most enterprises at the moment, as mentioned, deal with this WhatsApp problem and want a secure messaging solution. Um, we strongly believe that if you're interested in messaging, this is basically a big part of the future. Um, so you have uh, your team via platform, your backend, where it's basically an API. And with this API, you're basically able to send all kind of content to the TeamWire app. Um, so you can use all functionalities in the TeamWire app, um, but you're able to send notifications or reports or digital content to single users or groups. Um, you're able, by these means, to connect any kind of software, software of third-party vendors or even in-house developments that you have. And this basically allows you um, to automate processes and workflows because then an employee, employee get you know, automated notifications if there is a ticket alert from, an, um, from a, a customer system. Some examples for this are here. So basically, for example, if you have customer service, uh, there are new tickets. Um, this could be then automatically, you could get automatic um, uh, information about these tickets um, to employees or to groups of people. Uh, you could automatically send weekly sales reports out of other systems to your sales team. Um, maybe if your warehouse uh, runs out of stock or there are shortages, you can uh, reorder goods automatically. Um, there are things like in production or in IT. I mean, if you have in IT, for example, if you have any monitoring systems or things like that, they could send alerts yeah, if certain machines stop or if there is any kind of attacks. 
Um, there are things in, in, in production um, where then the a machine needs a, a different configuration. These kind of things could be connected to your messaging app in order to send information to the workers. Um, chatbots, I mean, one of the most popular topics nowadays. Um, if you want, um, you can basically connect then your secure messaging app to your own custom app or to your website where you maybe have a chat interface or something running and then if a customer starts chatting, I mean these messages are automatically directed to your team via app basically and then you are able to communicate with these people. Of course you can automate also with, with scripts and things like that, these chatbots, I mean all these things are possible. In logistics or in travel, I mean if there are delays, these could be escalated quickly and coordinated with the relevant people. Um, Things like HR, um, if you have a travel, travel expense report um, done by an employee, this report could be sent automatically to the manager of an organization. As the manager just sees the report in the TeamWire app, just types in yes, approved, or no, please mo modify. And by these ways, ways, you can quickly, let's say, accelerate things. Um, we have customers who actually think about doing employee satisfaction bots, which regularly question the satisfaction of users. Um, and by then suggest improvements if they are not, let's say, have not the, the most optimal work-life balance. Um, there are, I mean, there are countless examples. Normally it's like you talk with customers and they have two or three ideas and then a couple of weeks later um, they come with ten more ideas what they want to do with regard to digitalization. Um, at the end of the day it depends on your creativity and what kind of processes and workflows you want to automate, but this is something that we believe will be very, very strong in the future and will improve the productivity uh, quite, quite strongly. And at the same time, what is important to understand, since all these bots and integrations are happening in your messaging app, it's under full control of your organization. That means all the security policies and all the data protection policies that you have in place can be basically completely done with your organization. Um, that's all I have for you today. Um, if you are interested in this topic, I would invite you to go to our website. Um, you can get a free demo version of TeamWire um, and play around it with, with your colleagues. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact any, any time or your, um, our partner DSSS, um, who knows also quite a lot about our solution. Thank you very much. Perhaps any immediate questions? Yeah, please. Uh, one question about integration path. Uh, nowadays, it is really important to talk to different people, and one thing is talking inside the company or organization, and the, another big thing is talking to your partners. What uh, solutions are there in your product for this? Because, well, people tend to use these, uh, these services which work, which are easy to understand, which are fluid. And if somebody uses the already mentioned WhatsApp, so what then? Is there any solution? Yeah, I mean, normally it's like, I mean, what we see in other countries is they, they use then WhatsApp for the private communication and there's TeamWire for the business communication, yeah? So they basically separate the private and the business data this way, this is the one thing. With regard to external communication, um, there are various options. I mean, basically in our cloud, you could connect to external people like in WhatsApp, yeah, it could synchronize via your, your address book. However, it would be done in a data comply or a data protection compliant way. Yeah. Um, the other thing is that, of course, if you do it with TeamWire, you have it under full control. So the enterprise IT can basically control which which external people there is a communication taking place. Yeah. Um, you can also communicate with external people if you host it in a, in a private cloud or on premise. There are also ways. However, you would need to basically set it up to direct them to your server. Yeah when they register the solution, but this is possible. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome.